Hi guys, it's Dita. Welcome back to my channel. You can probably tell that we are in a different filming environment because my current filming environment is piled high with items I need to include in my haul video or haul videos because it's probably going to take more than one. I took a little clip of it so I may include it in here. Okay guys, here is my normal filming area and as you can see it is overrun by items that I need to haul so I can put them away. This is nuts. Oh, can't forget about that. This is going to be crazy. But anyway, this is my first video of 2018. It's a favorites video. I'm going to do December favorites today. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday season and a happy ringing in of the new year. And I just wish everybody well this upcoming year. Any hoodle, we are going to talk about things that I love for the month of December. So if you are interested in seeing what those things are, then stick around. In the handbag category, both of the bags that I will be featuring are pretty new to me, but they were standouts. I absolutely loved carrying them and had a hard time putting them down. So they just deserve a mention as far as I'm concerned. So the first bag is this quilted bee bag from Jessica Berman. And I got this uh, earlier in Dece early in December or late November, I can't remember. Anyway, I feature this in my um, outfits of the month video for December, but it's just this quilted faux leather bag with this very Gucci-esque bee. This is very Gucci inspired. This is very Chanel inspired. I love this box bag. It is such a great and fun bag and it fits actually quite a lot. I usually carry this crossbody and that's what this looks like crossbody on me but sometimes I do carry it on my shoulder I just love it it's also cute carrying it like so the strap isn't removable but I don't mind carrying my bag like this with some of the strap dangling this thing was a huge favorite and if anybody is interested in a review of this bag or actually of any of the bags that I feature then let me know I'd be happy to do that. The second bag is another really small bag. I have been favoring small bags a lot lately and this particular bag I just love the way it looks. It was one of the two bags that I took with me on my travels and I absolutely it was a joy to carry. And this is the bag. This is the Marc Jacobs snapshot bag and it comes in so many different colors. It is a Safiano-esque leather. I'm hoping that you can see that with this lighting. And I got mine in the black, red, and burgundy colorway. And they all come with these removable guitar straps and Marc Jacobs actually sells different guitar straps so you can mix and match. There's a um, camouflage one that I really want, um, but it's pretty much sold out. I jumped too late. But anyway, this bag is so great. It also can fit quite a lot. I mean, you have to deconstruct what you carry, but you can definitely fit everything that you need. I use this in Vegas uh, for my walking around town bag when I didn't want to use my Soho Disco bag. And it was great. It fit everything that I needed, including a pair of sunglasses, as long as it was in a satin case. This is what this bag looks like on, and I tend to wear this crossbody. And I like high riding crossbodies. Some people don't, you know, crossbodies typically hit here on the hip, but I really like how this hits. I love the look of that. The zippers are so smooth. I I mean, this thing is just a joy to carry. So yes, this is the second handbag in this category. For shoes, I have featured these booties a lot on my Instagram page. A lot? I don't know. I've worn them a lot, and I've featured them a couple of times on my Instagram page. 
these are one of the pairs of shoes that I took on our vacation and I wore them a lot and they are so freaking comfortable and they are so freaking awesome and they are these booties these are not Balenciaga these are from Jessica Berman I had been eyeing this site for a while and I talked about this before um, about how I was hesitant but a youtuber that I watch bought a different pair of boots from the site and had a really good experience so I decided I would give it a try and I have had a very good experience so I've been wanting and eyeballing those Balenciaga cutout boots for easily two years maybe even three and have never jumped um, and as I read more about them I heard that they are just super uncomfortable initially and, and that there's a definite wearing in period I've seen them in person a few times but I never really inspected them and when we were in Vegas we went to the Balenciaga store and they had the cutout boots and I did feel them I didn't try them on but feel them and held them closely to inspect them and they're gorgeous the leather is incredibly stiff on the Balenciagas and so I could see why they would be painful to break in. These are soft right out of the box. They are so comfortable and I just think that they look so good. So I got mine in the black with gold hardware and I may or may not have gotten a second pair but we'll talk about that in my haul video. But Yes, these things are so comfortable. I absolutely love these booties. I have gotten so much wear out of them and I'm looking forward to the spring and summer so I can rock these with tea dresses and the like. I just think that these are gonna be amazing year-round shoes. The second pair of shoes is another pair of boots and they are these gorgeous numbers and these are Balenciaga. These are the, I don't know if they have a name, I'll have to look it up. If I find the name, I'll put it down below. I feel like I saw a name, Paige? I don't know. Anyway, but they're the studded buckle boots, and there are a lot of dupes for these out on the market. When I first got them, I got these from the Real Real, so they'd been gently used. The leather was quite stiff, and maybe that's what Balenciaga, maybe that's their MO for their shoes. I know their bags are really squishy, but maybe they... I don't know. I remember when I put these on the first few couple of days, the first two to three days that I wore them, I remember thinking this is this was a big mistake, <laughs> especially since I bought these new in the leopard color. Anyway, but they have since softened so much and the leather is so lovely and supple and they are, these shoes have become so comfortable I cannot even tell you so this was definitely a huge favorite I have kind of a random favorite in the clothing category and it is these tights this pair of tights here what's happening here we go these are from a new day from Target and they are amazing these things are so comfortable I think that these are called the they're the opaque 50D tights, I think, but I, I'm not sure. I will look and I will link them down below, but they are so comfortable. This part here, I don't know if it's supposed to be a control top, but it's not too tight. You know, I didn't feel like I needed to rip them off at the end of the day. They were really comfortable and I love this color. This color has been so useful and I've gotten a lot, a lot, a lot of wear out of these. I have these in black as well and I have a pair of a New Day sweater tights. They just make great tights and they're really affordable and I just absolutely love these ones in particular. For jewelry, it will probably come as no surprise that the winner for the month of December was my Let It Go necklace. I've zoomed in on the necklace, but I can't tell whether it has zoomed in on the letters. Anyway, I've shown this necklace many, many times before because I wear it every day now. Light, comfortable, not much to say. I really love the message. I think that's gonna be my mantra for 2000, one of my mantras for 2018. So yes, my Let It Go bar necklace 
favorite jewelry piece for December. In the beauty category, I only have two items. One is in the fragrance category. And while we were in Vegas, my friend and I uh, visited the Louis Vuitton store in The Win, and it's, it was beautiful. And we met this amazing essay. I believe his name was Caleb and just a treat and a delight. Anyway, he took us around the store and showed us all of the goodies and I left very interested in some items, one of which is something he gave us a sample of and it is a fragrance. This smells so good. This is Matière Noir. Yeah, Matière, Black Matter or Dark Matter. And let's see. I'm hoping that I think that's probably focused. This thing, sm I it smells so incredibly amazing, and I can smell it through the box. It's a really deep. No, I'm not even gonna try. It's a wonderful fragrance, and the thing that was so impressive to me about this is that at least on me, this wore all day. I remember I would I would smell my wrist and be surprised that the perfume, this perfume that I'd sprayed on myself at the, in the morning was still apparent at night, like at bedtime. This is so long wearing and it smells so delicious. I just absolutely love it. So yeah, Caleb won me over. I'm definitely, this is going to be one of my purchases in 2018. Love this perfume. And then the next favorite is in the makeup category, and it is a mascara. I prefer long, thin, wispy lashes as opposed to a thicker, clumped lash. So I liked this mascara because I felt like it gave me that effect, and it is by Maybelline. It's the Maybelline Hydrofuge Lash. Um, and something red has rubbed off and so I hope that's not part of the name. Let's see if I can with the lighting. There we go. So it's the Maybelline Hydrofuse Lash and it's the waterproof formula which I had never used. I've never used a waterproof mascara before and I really like it and it's just I mean there's nothing special about the wand. It's just a typical straight mascara wand but I really like the effect it has on my lashes, I don't have any now, it's the end of the day. On now, I was working all day and it's the end of the day, but anyway, really, really like this mascara. So for the food and drink category, the first item was basically everything we ate in Vegas. The food in Vegas is incredible. We ate at some amazing restaurants and I'll include some clips of some of the things that we ate, but we went to, I talked about this before, we went to Morimoto, who is my favorite Iron Chef, his restaurant, Bomb. We went to a place called Momofuku, I think is what it's called, Bomb, Milk, Bomb, Shake Shack, freaking delicious. It was so good. Um, Egg Slut, I mean, it was just, oh, it was like a food frenzy. I absolutely loved it. We had such delicious food there and I'm such a huge foodie so that was a treat. So the second food favorite is a cookie. It's a cookie called a vanilla kipfel and it's a German cookie that is horn shaped and has powdered sugar on top. It is so good. It's my favorite Christmas cookie. Very very common in Germany for the holidays and I was just there and that's basically all I wanted. That and Rotkraut. That's basically all I wanted. Those cookies and red cabbage. <laughs> In the miscellaneous category is an art exhibit that we s saw in Dresden in Germany and it's their, their hygiene, their museum of hygiene. And it was an exhibit about the human face and judgments that people make about a person based on how they look, judgments about their character, criminality, intelligence, just based on their face. It was really, really interesting. And then there were also parts of the exhibit that went into the things that people do to alter their faces, to fit a certain standard of beauty, both men and women. 
it was really, really fascinating. In the memories category, I have two favorites. One was Skyping with my family as I was traveling. So because I wasn't with one part of my family for Christmas, we all Skyped in, we all conferenced in, and it was just one big loud ruckus. We opened presents together. Nobody was listening to anybody. Everybody was interrupting everybody. It was typical family time, super fun. It, it was it was awesome. That was really, really fun. And then the second favorite memory has to do with the Michael Jackson One Show in Vegas, which was incredible. It was incredible. And the ending, and I'm not gonna, I won't ruin the ending for anybody in case they wanna see it, but it blew my mind. It gave me chills. And I understand it was different from last year's ending. Anyway, it wasn't the ending that was my favorite memory, even though that was one of them. At the end of the show, while they were introducing the cast and people were taking their bows, they, they actually came out and were dancing in the aisles, and I was getting my swerve clean on, and one of the cast members saw me and pulls me out, and we started dancing together. So basically, I was a member of the Michael Jackson One Show happy to give you my autograph. <laughs> but it was so fun just dancing with that, with this really talented cast member who was part of a show that had just blown my mind was amazing. And I love to dance anyway. And my husband also loves to dance. And I don't know, it was just really, really cool. So that is it for my December favorites. I am going to try to edit this thing and put it up today. It is January 5th. We'll see if I'm successful because tomorrow I have got to start filming these haul videos because my room is a disaster and I need to hang everything up. So anyway, I hope everybody's having a great start to the year. I am looking very forward to filming more content this year. I have a whole list of ideas and I just think it's gonna be really fun. I'm really thankful that I have this creative outlet and um, this spot where I've met some really, really fabulous people. Any hoodle, if you're subscribed, yay, thank you so much. And if you are new to this channel, my passion is fashion. So that is what the bulk of my videos will be about with the odd beauty and confidence and well-being video. So if that interests you, then absolutely feel free to subscribe. I hope everybody has a good night and I'm gonna try to edit this MoFlicker and put it up. So we will see you in the next one. Peace -ians.